Hello, my sweet cakes. Here I am again to read you another book. I hope everybody's doing well, and I sure do miss you, um, but I do um, enjoy reading these books to you. So how about if we wiggle our fingers and we wiggle our toes? Oh, I gotta wiggle my shoulders and I wiggle my ear. My mouth. No, my nose. My nose. I always forget that one. Sorry. Are you ready? Now that we have all the wiggles out of me, let's see how it feels. Are you ready? The popcorn is a popping. Pop, 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 pop. The popcorn is a popping. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, the popcorn is a pop. Sizzle, 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 pop! Whoa, whoa, I think that was louder than the last time. Most definitely, most so. So anyway, I wanted to tell you something. I decided to read Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. And as I was looking it over again, and I know I've read this to some of you before, but some of you I have not. I decided, you know what? We need a cupcake party here in my house. So as you can see, it inspired me to bake some cupcakes. So I did. So I have them lined up here just to show you. And uh, so they'll be behind me and I'll read about Pete the Cat's cupcakes. Are you ready? All right, so Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes by Kimberly and James Dean. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, can you see that? Now that's a lot of cupcakes. Oh boy, did they look delicious. Oh, I can't wait to read this again. So, oh, there's Gus and there's Pete. Pete and Gus were at as busy as they could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. Good time to have a party, you know, kind of after lunch, before dinner. Yeah, absolutely. So here they are. They're getting ready and they're baking the cupcakes. So here we go. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They had ten cupcakes when they were done. Ooh, and do they look delicious? Ooh, I think I could almost eat all of them myself. Oh no, hang on. Some of the cupcakes were gone. What? They were sure there had been 10, and they were right, because remember, we counted them. Pete said, hey, maybe we need to count again. So they did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They counted the cupcakes lined up straight. Now there were only eight. Oh, no. Oh. It looked like someone had taken two. But who? Who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Hmm. Oh, then they just found a clue. Hmm. Something, a clue, will tell them maybe who's done this. Hmm. A clue, look. They found cupcake holders and sprinkles. Whoa, whoever took them ate them right there. Gus said, it looks like, uh, it looks what I have found. Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Well, <laughs> who doesn't? I, I like sprinkles. Squirrel said, uh, it, it, it wasn't me. It, it, it couldn't be me. 
I've been at the spelling bee. Oh, so she's been spelling words all day. She couldn't have taken them. Oh no, oh no, more cupcakes are missing. <gasps> Come and see, more cupcakes are gone. Oh no, oh, this was too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, someone must be playing tricks. But who, who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Hmm. Just then, they found another clue. Why look, can you see? There's footprints, footprints. Hmm, you could see right where someone had walked. Hmm, interesting. Pete said, hey, I bet it was alligator. He loves to eat. Well, yeah, alligators do. Alligator said, it wasn't me. It couldn't have been me. I was learning my ABCs. Well, yeah, and that would take a long time. There's a lot of letters in those ABCs, so he couldn't have done it. Oh no, oh no, more cupcakes are missing. <gasps> Come and see, more cupcakes are missing? Oh no, now there were only four? One, two, three, four. Oh no, someone had taken two more. But who? But who? Hmm. Boy, alligators with them now trying to figure out who took the cupcakes. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They just then they found another clue, something else to tell them. Who took the cupcakes? <gasps> Look, a ladder, a ladder leading right up to the kitchen window. Well, that would definitely help someone get up there and take those cupcakes, huh? Huh, I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves sweets. Well. Who doesn't like a good sweet like a cupcake? Oh, there's Turtle. There he is. Hi, Turtle. Turtle said, Oh, oh it wasn't me. It, it, it couldn't have been me. I've been swimming in the sea. Well, yeah, I guess it's not him. He, he was swimming all day. I guess he was at the beach. Oh, no. Oh no, more cupcakes are missing? Oh no, come see, but... Oh my goodness, do you see what I see? Look, look, look in the window. I hope you can see. Someone's in the window. You can see them taking the cupcakes, but they don't see because they're not looking at the window. Oh no, turn around, I say, turn around. Oh no, oh no, more cupcakes are missing. Well, yeah, we saw that. Come and see. <gasps> They're all gone. All of them are gone. The ladder's there. Oh no. What on earth is going on? All the cupcakes were gone. Gone, gone. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hmm. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Hmm. They started looking for another clue. And look, there's a lot of clues there. Why, there's footprints, and there are cupcake holders and sprinkles. Wow, there's a lot of clues there. And look, it's leading up near that tree.
Hmm, I wonder who. <gasps> they found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Oh yeah, he sure does. He has pink icing on his face. Pete and Gus had solved the case. Sure enough, Grumpy Toad. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm so sorry. It was me, Ribbit. I could not stop with just one. Oh, it is. It's hard to eat one cupcake. I ate and I ate till there were none, Ribbit. I'm sorry. Well, it does look sad. He does look like he's really sorry. Everyone agreed. Yep, they all agreed. Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. Couldn't come to the cupcake party. Well, there's no cupcakes left. Mm -hmm. He could not come after what he had done. Well, yeah, look, he took all the cupcakes and now his friends can't have the party and what he did really made them sad. Really made them sad. But good old Pete, Pete said, oh, but wait, Grumpy Toad made a mistake. It's true he did. Oh, this is true. Hey, let's give him a second chance. Oh, that Pete, he's a good guy. That's what friends do. That's true, they do. Pete told Grumpy Toad, they would give him another chance. Oh, he was so excited. He did a happy dance. Well, yeah, now he can come to the party. And I bet he'll never do that again. You know, you gotta kind of give your friends another chance. Yeah, that was really nice. Whoa, look at this. Wow. The, um, the night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. Whoa! He definitely felt bad, and he wanted to make everybody happy again. That was really nice. That was being a good friend, too. So, they were able to have Pete the Cat's cupcake party. Whoa! I am so glad that they found out where all the cupcakes went. And that was really nice of Grumpy Toad. He didn't make just 10. He made like 20 more cupcakes for everyone. So I feel pretty lucky because I still have my cupcake. My cupcakes. I don't have my cupcakes. Where could my cupcakes be? Oh my goodness. Where'd they go? Oh man. Oh, wait a minute. I know some people in this house that really like cupcakes. So, thank you. That was Mr. Gricciolo. I can never, ever leave any cupcakes around because he will always eat them. So anyway, I think I'm going to go eat this cupcake. And I want to wish you all a happy day. And I hope you found your happy because evidently, I did. I found my happy. So, have a good day, and I will be back to read another book. Bye-bye, everyone. Miss you. Mwah.